Hi guys, in this video I'm going to walk through some changes to Contabile's support for VST3 plugins and the way it now handles uh, audio bus configuration. So just to take a step back first, if we have a look at uh, a VST2 plugin, I'll just begin here, you'll see that on the properties page there's an audio ports page. And the way VST2 plugins work is they have a number of input output channels and Contabile lets you map those channels to uh, channels on a, an audio port. Okay, pretty straightforward. With VST3, things are a little bit different. Um, so let me just insert a plug in here, um, VI, a VST3 version. And I'll just close this for a moment. And what you'll notice is different now is there's a new page here called Audio Buses. Okay, so VST3 lets you uh, enable and configure buses into and out of a uh, plugin. And what you'll notice here is UVI, for example, has a lot of buses here. And a lot of time, most of them you won't need to use. So you can actually disable these now. So I'm just going to select all of those. If I hit space, it'll turn them off. And that will get rid of those in uh, the menus here. So you can see here now I've only got those four options here and it also saves on processing load because all those um, audio buffers don't need to be processed anymore. Okay so you can see here um, if I now map say from out to I'll just map it to speakers as well um, what I can do is I can come into here I can uh, load an instrument uh, just anything here and if I go to the multi page you can see on settings I can map these to different uh, outputs so let's map the first one to main out and the second one to out two. And I'll just load something into here as well. So this will be MIDI channel one, this will be MIDI channel two, and they're both going to separate outputs. And if I go back to here, you can see, okay, so that's channel one. And then if I go to channel two, okay, so that's on the other output. Okay, so that's all fairly straightforward. Now the audio uh, ports page is still enabled um, so you can see here I've got these four ports uh, buses and then on the audio ports page there's a new option here for VST3 plugins that says automatically map ports to plugin buses so what that's done is whatever buses I have enabled here so let's uh, enable a few more um, when I go to the audio ports page you'll see that they're all automatically uh, mapped through as ports that can be used in Contabulate Okay, so that makes it a little bit easier to set these uh, plugin mappings up and um, uh, it just makes it a bit easier for the typical case. Okay, so that, that's how that works. Now, one thing you would have noticed is when I first opened this um, plugin, all of these ports were enabled and that's because the VST3 spec includes a flag from the plugin that indicates whether a port should be enabled by default or not. And in this case for um, UVI, the flag says they should all be enabled. Okay, just to show you another example, if I load um, contact, this is just a beta version, but just to give you an idea. So I'll just close that. You'll see um, a similar thing on here, a whole bunch of audio ports and they're all enabled. And again, 90% of the time you're probably not going to need these so you can just select them all, hit space and they'll be gone. Okay, so that's how that works. And just, just to give one more example, um, for example, Dext, uh, if you have a look at it, you'll notice uh, by default it doesn't have any audio outputs and that's because for reasons up to the plugin developer, they've said to not enable this port by default. So for DEX, you're probably going to want to come in here and enable this every time. I'm not sure why they would have it off. But the idea is that the plugin can, can dictate which, which buses should be enabled or disabled uh, by default. Okay, the other thing you can do on these um, audio buses is configure their speaker arrangement. And again, much of the behavior here is up to the um, actual plugin. So let me just load DEX again and I'll just show you what I mean. Um, so if I go into the properties for this and enable it, in here you can choose what speaker arrangement you want. Now if I choose, for example, um, these 
surround speakers and go OK. It'll accept that. But if I choose something with uh, a different number of channels, so just choose 5.1 and press OK, the, the plugin has complained about this saying that it's not supported. And what it does is it updates these uh, buses with what it thinks it should be. So depending on what you choose here, it may or may not work. And it's really up to the plugin. And there's, unfortunately, there's no way to tell ahead of time what will and won't work. So it might take a bit of experimentation. Okay, so just to give you another example of that where it actually is supported. A lot of plugins actually don't support uh, reconfiguring the, the bus speaker arrangement. Uh, but those that do um, include HL Convolver, for example. Um, so I'll close this and go into here. Now, things can get a little bit weird. So for example, here we've got uh, an input and an output port. If I change this to say 5.1, and hit OK, it'll say it was not accepted and you'll see it set them both back to stereo. But if I change the output one to 5.1, you'll see it wasn't accepted, but it's modified it such that the input one now matches the output. Okay, and if we go into this plugin, uh, into the plugin itself, you can see there's now these uh, six output channels. Okay, so Depending on the plugin, you might have to experiment with it a bit, or you might need to uh, refer to the um, documentation of the plugin. Um, but you should be able to reconfigure these uh, speaker arrangements uh, for a uh, plugin when it makes sense. And again, if you look over here, you'll see now we've got the six channels on each of these ports because I've had this automatically mapped thing turned on. Um, if I was to change this back to 5.1, oh, sorry, back to stereo, and then look at the audio ports page again. Well, first of all, it'll complain that it didn't like it. Audio ports page, you see these are now stereo ports. Okay, so the final thing I want to show is when you wouldn't use this option. So let me just, rather watch me set up everything up, let me just open a uh, song I've got here. This is HL Convolver again, uh, but I've configured it slightly differently. So if I go into the properties for this, see I've got it configured as 5.1 again, so basically six channels. And in here, instead of relying on the, the six channel to six channel you know, input output mapping, I've actually created a stereo in which goes to the first two inputs on the input side. Okay, so that would be the main stereo input of this uh, input uh, bus here. And then on the output, I've actually mapped the first two channels to an output port, a stereo output port called front left, and I've done another one for the uh, rear speakers. Okay, so what you can now do is you can now, even though this plugin has a single audio output bus with a 5.1 speaker arrangement, you can actually configure ports to send different parts of that uh, bus to different places. Okay, so um, just to. Okay, so you can see all, all I've got loaded into here is a one-to-one -one mapping, and it basically maps each stereo pair or one, the one stereo input pair to three stereo outputs. Okay, but you can see they're all getting mapped through there. So you could re, you could map the, the different outputs from this plugin to different places, that's it. Okay, um, that's it, it's pretty straightforward, um, but the behavior of the plugin can affect it significantly and what it can and can't do. Um, and for that reason, I've tested it with quite a few plugins. Um, but there's probably going to be other plugins where things don't quite line up or work properly. And if you find anything like that, please let me know and I'll we'll look into uh, getting it sorted out. But yeah, there's, there's obviously too many plugins for me to test every one personally myself. Okay, and that's it. Um, this build, so this is build 4172. Um, this build also has um, some improvements around the way the undo manager and the route manager interact together. So. A lot of operations now that used to actually go through a, a reroute operation now don't do that because they don't need to. Um, it's just an optimization I've been meaning to do for a long time. And it, it came about because I had to, I had to kind of make some change. The, all these edits that you can do here, you can undo them. So there's a lot of interaction there that I wasn't really happy with, so I've cleaned that up as well. But that's the other big change with this. Um, with this build. Okay, so this is build 4172. It'll be marked experimental. It'll probably stay that way for a little while simply because um, 
I need to get some feedback on how, how well this uh, new audio bus stuff is working. Okay, this is available now. Thanks, guys. Bye.